Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number five, President of South Africa Cyril Ramaphosa has urged Nigerian banks to set up branches in South Africa as the country signs more pacts with Nigeria on power, oil and gas, amongst others. He stated this at a joint press conference at the State House during his visit to Nigeria. He also said both countries have signed approximately 32 agreements and added other agreements. Furthermore, existing memorandum of understanding signed during previous binational commission meetings were also reviewed. At number four, Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi on Wednesday directed those serving in his government who would like to contest the governorship primaries to tender their resignation later by December 18, 2021. The directive was contained in a statement signed by the governor's chief press secretary, Yinka Ayebode, in Ado Ekiti. Ayebode stated that the developments became imperative in order to ensure coercion and excellent service delivery. At number three, the House of Representatives on Wednesday mandated the Inspector General of Police, Usman Al Kalibaba, to dismantle multiple checkpoints on highways across the country. It asked the IGP to direct the Commissioner of Police in Anambra State to review the location of a police checkpoint sandwiched between two fuel stations on Onicha Oweri Expressway. According to the House, the measure will help curb accidents and other disasters on the highways, especially during the festive season. At number two, a federal high court in Abuja has ordered the Nigerian police force to pay a 15 million naira fine to seven suspected members of Boko Haram over their unlawful detention for three years without trial. The suspects, who were said to have been arrested inside a Medugri market, were allegedly dumped at the detention facility of the special anti robbery in Abuja. Justice M. O. Olajuwon, in a judgment on their fundamental human rights enforcement suit, held that the detention of the detainees for three years without trial contravened the provisions of the 1999 Constitution on Human Rights. At number one, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, will appear before Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja today, December 2, 2021. Kanu's counsel, Aloy Ejimako, who disclosed the news, said that the court granted an abridgment of the time after a motion was filed by his client. Recall that Justice Nyako had on November 10, 2021, adjourned the trial of Kanu till January 19 and 20, 2022 for trial. Always remember to wash your hands, wear your mask and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.